Hey guys, good morning. So today I'm gonna show you how I put up my makeup, like everyday makeup. This is not like a glam thing. <laughs> it's just how I keep myself together. Like I honestly feel like a lot of times when we become moms and stay at home moms or just moms in general, we tend to just let ourselves go. So it's just been a habit for me to try to keep myself up. Like I honestly, when I look good, I feel good. I don't know, it's really weird. I know it's a whole vanity vain thing, but when I feel like I'm ready to tackle the world, I just feel like I'm at my complete best. I love me without makeup, you know, without my hair done and all of that. You guys see the vlogs, I will run weeks without any makeup on but my everyday routine I figured I would show you guys how I do that because I do get a lot of questions from other moms like you know I've heard moms say I don't have time for that I don't have time for that but I think the problem is it is it's not that you don't have time for it because we make time for the things that we really want to do I think that the main thing is really it's not a priority I think people look at all these beauty people on the internet and they feel like oh I have to do all of this stuff and have to buy all these products and honestly you really don't you just need to find what works for you and I'm gonna show you guys what works for me and if you like something that you know that I'm talking about maybe try it out I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on makeup because I do wear makeup almost every day to have to keep replenishing the same $60 bottle of foundation would just be outrageous that would be a huge bill and that's not something I'm looking forward to doing I've already um, washed my face so I'm going to, and my mirror is in front of me, so if you see me looking this way, it's because that's where my mirror is. I'm just going to go ahead and start off with my moisturizer. It's the same moisturizer you guys have seen me use before. I This is a, a moisturizer that is very lightweight. It won't weigh my makeup down when I put it on, and it won't have my face all extra greasy um, if I start to sweat throughout the day. So I create a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm like the DIY queen, honestly. I create so much stuff. So I had this bottle from another primer uh, setting spray and I just didn't like the way the primer was so I decided to kind of create my own. It is so much stuff in here but I'll show you why I like this one better. Mm. So you see how my face is kind of like glistening and it has a bit of a shine to it. I did that on purpose because instead of me trying to add that at the end, I don't necessarily need to. So on a regular day, I want to feel like I'm glowing. I'm just floating through the house and glowing. <laughs> so I added this to my primer and I spray my face. And as you can see, it's, it already looks like I'm already highlighted, even though I'm not. It's just the spray gives off that effect. Even if you put on some sort of a like BB cream or something, you honestly could could throw on a BB cream, um, you know, do some dark circles, your eyebrows, some lashes, and you can go ahead and go out the day. My thing is just keep yourself together, you know, like these men, y'all have husbands and boyfriends and you know, you don't, I went through a, a total time of depression and I'm going to do a video on that as well, but I went through a, a portion of my life where I didn't do makeup I didn't do my hair I didn't do anything for a very long time and I wondered what it did to my husband and I honestly had a conversation with him about how he felt like every day he would come home and I would be still in my PJs and he knew that I was going through something and he really was like supportive and trying to get me through it but I realized that I had just totally let myself go anyway back to what we're doing here today I'm going to use my um foundation and this is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation. This is a full coverage makeup. This is my favorite foundation. I I cannot rave about this even like oh, this is the best foundation. Drugstore foundation, this is the best foundation. I can honestly tell you, you would love this foundation. In order to make this full coverage, you would need to put on a layer and then let it dry and then put on more. But when you're just having a regular day, you don't have to do all of that. This, what I'm showing you guys, is just a quick and, you know, boom, pow, get out the door, still look presentable, still be cute, still feel your best, and it's not gonna take a long time. So two pumps, and I'm just gonna go in. Sponge 
sometimes feels so good and you can use a brush but um, in the morning when you have you know things to do you need to cook breakfast you need to get yourself together you still got to get dressed you got to get the kids dressed when you have a lot to do you just not some I find that the sponge is just so much easier and it just gets things done a lot faster in the morning time uh, honestly it's best to find a routine for yourself like we find routines for our kids we have routines for our work stuff but we never have a routine to take care of us as moms and I just just want to challenge us to do better you know like I'm not telling people you have to wear makeup I'm not saying you have to do all of this every single day I just want to challenge you so to feel better about yourself every single day I lived a period of time where I was just very unhappy with myself and I realized that I was not taking care of myself that's really what it was I stopped working out I was so focused on all the negative things that was happening in my life and that I had just forgot about all the great things that was happening. So I decided to take care of myself and part of it I've realized, you know, when I get up and I make myself up and I, I feel so much better when I do that. So this is just a part of my daily routine. Um, I don't do it every day like I said, but for the most part it is. So the next thing is to conceal. Now, you don't necessarily, you don't have to conceal every day. I'm not going to conceal a whole lot, just a little bit, just to highlight the face. I feel like when you can, when you conceal underneath the eyes, it just lifts everything up and it just makes it brighter to me. It makes you look a lot happier. <laughs> it, it really does. I know that that may seem really weird, but it does. It just makes you feel so much like, huh, ah, I'm just having a beautiful day. <laughs> Roses and flowers. <laughs> I'm just going to blend this out. And then I'm going to go in with this NK Makeup Perfection. Now, I want to show you guys this because I used to use the um, Ben Nye Banana Powder and it was great. However, sometimes I just couldn't find it and it would irk my nerves not being able to find find it so I found this one and guys guess how much I pay for this I honestly probably pay a dollar ninety nine maybe two ninety nine for this and I got this from the beauty supply store because so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out pretend to be tough and make enough time to be happy when we were young makeup was fun now it's a habit Photoshop this, Photoshop that, running in circles. But now what I put underneath my eye is the LA Girl Pro Concealer again at the beauty supply store for what $2.99 I think it is it used to be super cheap until everybody kind of got on a bandwagon then I took the price up okay so then I just dump this right in here I take another sponge this this sponge here and then I go underneath my eye I'm a camera girl in a camera world. I'm a camera girl. Whatever I'm about to go around my face, but I definitely try to get underneath my eye to prevent from any creasing. Doing my makeup every day, I could care less about it creasing. I'm gonna sweat regardless, so I just try to, you know, make it look not not allow it to look too bad so i'm just using these little brushes that i use i pretty much use these every day this is um the real technique brush i picked these up from ross and there was about i want to say five brushes all for like six or 7.99 really really inexpensive and great for like doing your makeup every single day now i'm going to go in and do something to my eyes now on an everyday makeup thing i just really try to do something really really quick and easy i go towards this palette which is a sweet peach palette it has a ton of just regular really good shadows in them i reach for this one and I also reach for this one. Now this is like my favorite palette. This is a Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. There's a lot of great, great colors in this one. I pull from either one of them. Just honestly, there's no reason why. It's just however I'm feeling for the day. Um, this is just a regular makeup thing. I'm not gonna go all over the top. I say that and then I end up with a full face of freaking makeup. That y'all when this full coverage 
it gets way deeper than what I just did. Anyway, so I'm gonna go in and this is what I use every single day that I do my makeup. This color right here, if I use this palette, I go in with this color. You can see I'm already hitting pan on here. Um, I just go in and make my whole, the whole eye blend and give it some color. So I put that all over my lid. And I really try to concentrate it right in the crease. See how, look at this one, this one. Simple, right? Okay, so what you need to blend, let's talk about that really, really quickly. All right, so in order to blend, you need a blending brush. See how fluffy this brush is compared to this brush right here. Now this one is a little, you can use this to blend, but only when you want to get right into the crease. But to make everything kind of seamless, you just really want to buff things out, you need something like this. Here's my favorite one, I, and I use these two brushes every single day, no lie. So this is a lab brush, and I picked this up, see how big, how fluffy that is? That's what you want, that's how you get that blend when it looks like it's coming through, your eyeshadow is coming through the skin on your eye, there's no creases, there's no separation in between the top the, the transition so all your different layers just look really really good when you start to do these things trust me you will every morning you get up you start to do your makeup it'll just flow it takes me about honestly I, I was trying to do five minute makeup for you guys but <laughs> with me trying to explain it it's just taking a lot longer but it probably takes me a good 20 minutes I would say to just get out the door hair done I'm out so going in, I'm going to go back to this brush. So I picked this brush up at Walmart and it is lab brush and I got it for about $5. So for about $5, you can get a really good blending brush. And I've been using this brush for mm, probably about two years now. I've been using this same brush. So you don't need a whole lot of money to be decent or to look, you know, to get that look that you want every day. And I'm trying to be careful with my words because I really don't want people to think that you have to have makeup in order to feel beautiful. You know, it's just a personal preference for me. It's not something that you have to have. You don't need makeup. I honestly, I love me with or without makeup, but for me, I just feel more put together when I have my face on. And you know, a lot of people are taught to do these types of things every day. You know, like you have like a grandmother who gets up and put her face on and she has her pearls on every day. I, for one, was not taught that. However, you know, I do have a friend that was. Her grandmother taught her to, you know, get dressed every day. I've never seen this child without makeup, not one day. <laughs> I'm so serious. Never. Ever. So some people are taught. So on just an everyday makeup look, I don't need a whole lot. Camera just went out. I don't know why. But I'm just going to go ahead and pat this. And then I'm going to go back with the powder that I used earlier. And I'm just going to... Uh-oh. Wrong color. And I'm going to just clean it up. So I'm just going to go right above it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Like this is just an everyday look. You just want to look like you, you know, cared a little bit today. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. And then that's that. Let's do my brows. I just get like this little comb. It actually is like a, a brow pencil. But the thing is just too light for me. So I use just a regular brown pencil. First I comb them and my brows actually are okay. I don't like really heavy brows. That's just a pet peeve of mine. I really hate it. And I just go in and try to draw a straight line on the very bottom and then just brush up just to fill in whatever you want to fill in. Like me, like I have a high arch on this side so I try to give myself an arch on this side and how I do that is just keep a very very light hand um, just you know go upwards 
I don't think I'm explaining that right but um, and then what you want to do is just brush it out because you want to look effortless you want to look like you didn't just take you know 30 minutes to put your makeup on and you're just sitting in the house the only person you're probably gonna see is the mailman <laughs> um, yeah for some people but me I'm gonna be out and about and if you're out and about you just want to feel like you know oh I showed up today mm -hmm. all right so just filling in my brows like I said I did darken them so I don't need a whole whole lot um, this one actually doesn't need to be done there but I'm just gonna brush it out just to make it look a little bit better and my kids are screaming so the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna go in with some mascara and this is something that you this is kind of a must you have to have some mascara um, even on days when I don't wear foundation I still wear mascara I still do my brows I still wear mascara and if I'm just feeling a little like I want to do something then I go ahead and throw on some lashes even if I'm not wearing foundation and stuff I love this brush because these little small bristles here at the top really get in the corners of my eye so I really like this one so just going in and I'm brushing them and you guys probably like oh my gosh how much mascara are you gonna put on I don't know I just in the morning time I'm thinking I'm listening to motivational stuff um, I'm preparing my mind for all the things I'm gonna do for the day so it's it's almost like I'm just I don't know <laughs> I just be in the zone of whatever it is all right so because it's just a regular day I'm not even gonna bother with lining my eyes and I'm using this mascara this is the lash sensational by Maybelline as you guys can see I'm really a Maybelline girl I really really like Maybelline products and I love the fact that I can find them anywhere that's just you know I love that I love that I can go in any store any drug store and still look flawless if I leave my makeup bag at home I could just run into like a CVS a Walmart a Kroger you can go anywhere and pick up Maybelline so that's something that I really really love we're gonna go ahead and just really brighten up and really make the day by throwing on some lashes and these are the wispy lashes I picked these up from the beauty supply store and I love these because they're very inexpensive number one number two you can use them over and over and over and over so I typically wear a, a pair of lashes for one whole week so I do recycle lashes <laughs> if they are still in good shape which most of mine are really always in good shape I just you know take the glue off um, and wear them the next day the this I picked up this is kiss strip lash adhesive I picked this up from Walmart it's about three dollars and I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this on my eye now lashes are a little tricky I know a lot of people always ask me yes in order to pop the lashes on I turn them up and fit them right down on my eye like this and trust me if you are new to doing lashes you will get used to it but what will help you is some tweezers so if you grab some tweezers it will really really help you pop your lashes on and these are the wispy D um, so if you go to the beauty supply store that's what you're looking for wispy D they just look very very natural um, me talking to you guys I think I let my glue dry a little too long but it's okay we'll see how this works so like I said I don't have mascara I don't have eyeliner on I just have on um, mascara so my eyes still look like they have some life in them voila lash on I'm gonna go ahead and do the next one now what I want to do is go in and just add some color to my face. Honestly, when I'm like rushing and I just want to just throw a face on for the day. This is the only thing I use and not that you can see it, it's kind of dirty. It's not overly done if that makes sense. So I just swerve and trust me, 
I'm trying to show you guys how to do this on an everyday so that you won't feel like, oh, I don't have time for this. I, I knew a guy. I'll tell you a story while I do this. But uh, okay, so I swerve and as you can see, I've already hit pan, but I got this from the beauty supply store, maybe six or seven dollars. I need to go and get another one. Um, if you guys wanna see me do like a shopping makeup video, let me know. You see how that just really just puts some definition in my cheek. So this is what I do. I just, you know, go down my nose, I go forehead, I go under the cheek, and then I go right here on the jawline just to just sculpt out that whole little area. Now you see, you could tell a difference. You see this side, and then you see this side. You see this side? You see this side. Now I'm gonna sh I can show you another way. So if you wanted to you know, make that a little deeper and you want it to be more bronzy, more sculpted, you really can. And I'll show you that in just a second. But I'm showing you guys what I do every single morning when I get up and put my makeup on. This is what I do. This is, I'm just, I'm in the mirror. I'm moving fast. I'm trying to look presentable, look, you know, refreshed. I also want to feel like I'm put together. Next thing I'm going to do is go in and kind of highlight my face. I'm not going to highlight highlight because I use that for like full coverage, but an everyday bronzy look. I use this matte um, gold bronze and I just go in in the top. I never, you don't see how this dust right here. You don't need all of that on just a regular day. So I just go in with the top. I just dab it brush some of it off and then I just go in here just to give my, say, my face just a, a highlighted bronzy look. As you can see, it, it already just lift. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. <laughs> but y'all, this is what I do every day. Um, okay, so funny story. I was working for a couple and I remember the guy saying that he loved women who, you know, took care of themselves and, you know, they got up, they got dressed. He loved women like that. And I remember his wife saying to the makeup artist that I had brought on and she was like, I nobody has time for that. I don't have time for that. Um, you know, and it's fine. You know, a lot of people feel like they don't have time to put makeup on. But the thing is, it's like, I think that there's a conversation that need to be had about keeping ourselves up. You know, there's something to be said when men go out into the world and they're looking at all these women on the internet and they come home to someone who feels like they don't have time because, oh, the kids have soccer practice and they have this going on and you have that going on. It's just when you feel better for yourself, you, you, you put out this emotion and this feeling that I'm better, I'm good with my life. You know what I mean? And it, it makes other people treat you that way if i'm explaining that i'm trying to explain it in a way where i'm not seeming so shallow because i'm definitely not not trying to but i just think that there is a reason to keep yourself up as moms i know we have so much going on i've been in that situation and when i was single this woman said that and i was in my mind was like girl i would never be around my man looking like that and I was thinking in my head like that is so dumb so stupid to even think that way and it's easy for us to sit back with no children single and no other responsibilities so now that um, I'm going to now I'm going to put on a little bit of mascara underneath my eye and as you can see this is so simple like you could do this within five minutes it's just this makeup job I just did don't take long at all it's just the simple things y'all I know so many men that complain about their wife not keeping themselves up not taking care of themselves not being you know that woman that they met when they first got married and you know include mine <laughs> I've been through that too um I, I just in my mind I used to think they just don't understand they just don't get it we go through so much we just have so much other so many other responsibilities I'm not thinking about makeup that's just the least of my worries and you know that's all cool for a little while but you know you can't keep pumping that same story 
365. So I'm going to go in with this NYC and I'm just going to line, uh oh, line my eye. And it's just a really, really faint line. I'm not, and I go down because my eyelashes are really thin. Um, so I try to give off this effect as if I have more eyelashes, which is why I go down. Or I, so anything that goes, it just gives off a more fuller eyelash effect, pulling it down. All right, so that's it. And the very last thing that I do on my face is always have a lip gloss. Oh my gosh. Lip gloss just makes your lips, whether it's lipstick, you don't need lipstick every single day, but a good lip gloss will save you every day, I promise. So the last thing I do when I'm just rushing and I want to, you know, feel like I'm being put together, this is like key. I didn't really pick this up until later, but no matter how much makeup you have on, no matter how your hair is, this is the thing, y'all. Edges. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was going to say something real deep, but listen, it makes everything just so, it makes you look more put together when your edges are, are done. So I just use... And I, I try, I've tried so many different edge controls, but I just use this um, stuff that I use on Noah's hair. It's thick, it holds, it don't flake. Um, it's just, it's good, it's good for me. <laughs> Makes it seem like I did my hair when I really didn't. <laughs> so I just, you know, get myself some little baby hair things going on, just swerve it, make it look like I, I, I tried a little bit today. One really I probably didn't now I typically try to one curl my hair on Sundays but um, I didn't do it this I didn't do it this past Sunday um, and when I curl when I do curl my hair for the week it kind of stay a little bit wavy and that's that's how I like it I don't waste my time trying to curl my hair I just make sure that you know it looks decent and I can just go um, throughout my day like I don't I don't necessarily have to have my hair curled every single day it honestly could just I like the messy look for the most part um, but as long as my edges are good I I feel good I think it's best you know regardless of how men you know how these men view us and what they think in their opinion I think it's best for us to do what makes us happy we do the things that makes make us feel more comfortable with ourselves if you try to please other people and trying to keep your makeup done just for your man to see you won't keep up with that you won't it won't be something that you will actually want to do you'll dread it me I enjoy makeup so I enjoy putting it on I enjoy you know taking my time to try different things I play a lot in makeup that's just me though if you're not that type of person do what makes you feel comfortable if you don't want to wear makeup then don't wear makeup I know another girl who you know she just don't she's not into it you know it's it's not it's not a bad thing that you're not into it it's just she's just not really into makeup and stuff like that but her husband feels as though he wants a woman to, you know, keep herself up. And when they first met, she used to wear makeup and she used to dress and she would wear heels. And now when they have kids and marriage and kids and life and bills, and she just feels like, I don't have time for that. And, you know, that's a whole nother conversation to have because, you know, you don't, you don't want your spouse to be out there looking at other people. <laughs> and that's just not a good feeling to feel as though feel like your husband is or your spouse or some whoever you're with is seeking or looking at someone else because you don't want to keep yourself together i feel like a lot of times you stay down because that's how you feel but if you would figure out what makes you happy you will feel better about yourself whether it's makeup whether it's just working out or maybe maybe an outfit i don't know whatever it takes to help you feel better about you that's what it is. I don't even know why I started this conversation. And I know y'all probably gonna light me up in the comments about this men's thing, but it's okay. We can have the conversation. I'm actually 
excited and happy to have the kind of to have the talk about you know all of the things that we, we go through as women and this is just one of them keeping ourselves up keeping ourselves together I'm gonna teach my daughter to keep herself together I'm gonna teach my niece to keep herself together I just think that I I personally feel better if it, I wasn't into makeup I would find something else that made me happy wouldn't necessarily have to be makeup but when you feel good about you you push out this 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 aura or this persona that all is well with me in my life i'm happy take me the way i am or leave me <laughs> anyway so the last thing that i do is just brush my hair i um if my hair if i curl it over the weekend which i typically do i don't try to curl it during the week because it still has some body in it i don't necessarily need it to be all like curly curly this is not a uh i'm not going out for the night <laughs> this is just you know look good on a monday or tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday <laughs> anyway so this is it guys like um I wouldn't do any more than this. Some earrings. I definitely like to throw on earrings. Um, but other than that, this is it. I don't do any more than that. This really would take me about, I would say a good 15 minutes, depending on how long it takes me to get my lashes on. So I would say a good 15 minutes, a good five minutes if I'm not wearing lashes. And I do do makeup without lashes, but I just feel more dramatic when I have the lashes on. A lot of times I could do nothing but the lashes and some lip gloss. I love that look. Um, guys, do what works for you. Do what's best for you if you feel like... Um, you know you're overwhelmed and as a mom and you just have a lot on your plate it's okay it's really okay it's okay to take a break for yourself it's okay to not want to please the world because you're dealing with something or you're going through right now it's it's really okay so i will look bummy all day half the time i won't even comb my hair Babe is on his way home and I know it. I will rush. I will run to put on some makeup before he comes in the door. I don't know why. I just want him to see me glam. <laughs> I don't know. It's just something that I just really, really like. I like to be put together when he walks in the door. I, To me, I feel more flirty when I'm put together. I feel like, oh, hey, welcome home. <laughs> this is how that's just me and that's just how I feel um that's what makes me comfortable and I think as moms we have to do what makes us comfortable and if you not wearing makeup makes you comfortable then girl have at it I'm not gonna judge you I don't think other people should judge other people if that's not something that they really want to do because I remember talking to my friend who um who the one I told you guys who really don't like to wear makeup and you know to find come to find out is she just don't know how to do it and if you don't know how to do it then you watch videos like this like where you're where i'm explaining things oh or you go to sephora it is free guys go to sephora go to mac and ask them any question you you have about how to apply foundation how to put on lashes how to put on eyeshadow they'll show you they'll they'll walk you through the steps on how to do these things if you want to know what color colors blend and what colors match and what foundation does this always think about the places that have someone at the counter because they will always take their time to show you and you don't even have to buy the products just go in and ask a makeup artist how to do something and they'll take their time most people will just take their time to just show you um, if you have questions about makeup jot them down in the comment section and I will definitely try to answer them I need to film our Q&A today because I've been promising y'all this and I just kind of been you know lagging but I got like over 100 questions on Facebook y'all I don't even know when my Facebook page start booming like that but <laughs> I got over 100 questions on Facebook I'm not gonna answer 100 questions I'm just gonna filter through a lot 
um, of the questions and kind of answer and then there were some things that I felt like you guys should know about me so um, I'm gonna just answer those things and I have some planner videos I have a morning routine a night routine a cleaning video I have so many videos for you guys coming out all right guys so that is it this this is my face simple easy breezy ready to go for the day mom is bad to the bone and I'm ready to conquer so Give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you subscribe. If you have not already subscribed, guys, please subscribe for me. Um, that really, really helps my channel out. And share it. If you enjoyed it and you watched it all the way to the end, then show it to somebody else because they might like it too. <laughs> also, too, guys, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I am more active in my stories when you don't see me on YouTube. Please believe I am in my stories on Instagram. I am there vlogging and posting and sharing so much stuff when I am not here. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. I hope you guys have a great and fabulous week. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.